Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. Been doing YouTube videos now for a few years. Never once have I done a video on these, and never once have I told you to put one of these in your trauma kit. So today's the day. We're gonna do a video. We're gonna talk about it. It seems like every video that I do that talks about bleeding control, hemostatic agents, galls, something like that. There's comments about using tampons to plug holes, plug GSWs, gunshot wounds with this product here. They said, I'm gonna put these, I've got in my trauma kit, blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna take this apart and show you just how little gauze is actually in here. And we're gonna talk about that, show you some other products that are cheaper and that are just as effective. So now if we talk about what is the best, what is the best product that you can buy to save your life, to save your friend's life, save your buddy's life, whatever, then let's talk about hemostatic agents, okay? This is the gold standard. This is what people are using for wound packing. This is Combat Gall Sealox. Now, I get it, guys. These things are expensive. You're talking about $45, $55 in that area for brand spanking new Combat Galls. So we talked about what the very best was. That's our hemostatic agent here. Let's go down the line just a little bit here. So this is just a roll of clean, curl X, whatever you want to call it. This is basically just cheesecloth here and then compressed gauze. This is a lot cheaper to buy a box full of cling or compressed gauze. Right, so when we talk about bandaging wounds, we can pretty much all agree on four by fours and five by nines. They're the two most prevalent types of gauze we use for that. This is what you're gonna see on every ambulance, most first aid kits, things like that. So the four by four here is for minor injuries, okay, minor wounds. This is gonna be oozing blood, abrasions, things like that. It really doesn't absorb that much blood then you get to the five by nines this is more of a moderate to heavy bleeding so this will absorb a lot more blood all right so i've opened one up and i just want to show you how much gauze is actually in here so we push this out unroll it that's about it folks there is how much gauze is in here that you say that we're going to control major bleeding with now let's compare these to the galls that's actually in the tampon here. So if we fold the 4x4 up, I'll get it kind of the same size-ish. You can see here that it's pretty close. Now obviously the tampon's more dense, but you're fairly close here. And this is the one that we said that we would use for minor bleeding. So really how much more absorbent is this? So. If we talk about the 5x9 here, this is the one we talked about that we would use for the moderate to heavy bleeding. There we go. You can see the 5x9 is going to absorb a lot more blood than the tampon. Alright, so let's lay this out on the table. Here's our tampon. Here's a roll of clean. Now, I, the one I opened up was sterile, but the tampon's not sterile, so that doesn't matter. You can buy the non-sterile gauze, okay, because this is not sterile. It has no need to be sterile. So. A tampon is not sterile, doesn't matter. So this cling that opened up was sterile, makes it a little bit more expensive, but you can buy the non-sterile for really cheap. So this is just cheesecloth here. And you can see how much more we have than the tampon. So this is cheap, guys. So for those of you tell me about price, can't do it. So you can see a lot more here. So let's talk about the compressed galls. Now compressed galls, a little bit more expensive than the cling, but let's open it up. And now, without even unrolling this to make it not so dense, you can see a huge difference here, guys. This is it. So one of the things that always comes up is in a crap hits the fan situation where there's no medical help coming, no 911, no hospitals, things like that. Guys say they're gonna use these. They're gonna have these in their bug out bag and trauma kits. Although they should be in your bug out bag, but not for trauma. That's a whole nother video. But people are gonna say they're gonna use these in a crap hits the fan situation. And I don't, I don't see it, I don't get it. Where this is basically cotton material. This is a, a non-sterile woven mater cloth material to absorb blood, other materials. And you're, these are gonna be more available than a t-shirt or a towel or whatever else, I don't see it, I don't, I don't get it, I don't get that mindset of it. You know, we talk about, you know, infection, all that stuff, I, I get it, okay? But at that time, we're just worried about controlling major bleeding. You're, you're talking about you're gonna use this for a gunshot wound, so that's pretty, pretty life-threatening, that's pretty scary. 
So at that point in time, we're just worried about stopping the bleeding. We'll worry about infection later. So I don't see that portion of it. Another thing guys will talk about is the price point. They just, they can't afford anything better. So this is what they're gonna use. They're gonna raid their wife's cabinet and stick tampons in their trauma kits. And I, I tend to argue that too. I think your priorities are probably in the wrong place. You know, I don't expect every single person to go out and buy the hemostatic agents. I get it. These guys are expensive, I understand. But this roll of clean here is cheap. This compressed gauze is cheap. So I don't get the price point either. I actually pulled up Amazon right here because this is the one you guys always argue with me about my prices on. You tell me you can get it on Amazon cheaper. So Amazon's not making medical videos for you. But stretch gauze, 12 rolls, four feet by four inches and um, four yards, sorry, not feet, uh, six bucks. That's cheap, so that's 12 of them. So these things, small box, like five bucks, okay? So for about the same price as you, your wife's buying a box of these, you can buy 12 rolls of clean. Put a couple of these in your trauma kit, it wound packs just fine. Like we use this in class, like it works. This is not as good as this, but this works. So you're talking six bucks for 12 rolls of these off Amazon. So the five by nine, which talked about here, showed you this one, remember? Showed you these. So this is for the moderate to heavy bleeding, controls a lot more blood, absorbs a lot more blood than this. So a uh, box of 36 for $11. Looks like there's a box of 25 there for $13. So there you go. So um, this will go a long way than this. And then probably the closest thing that I could find with the same amount of galls as the tampon is in here is uh, a 200 pack for eight bucks off Amazon. If you got Amazon Prime, you got free shipping. So for the same stuff material here, eight bucks, you get 200 packs of it. So the price, it's not there guys. So wrapping up this video, I just, I don't see a need for a tampon and a trauma kit. I just don't see it. There's nothing there to support it. There's not enough gauze in there to support it. The price point's not there to support it. Nothing's there to support it, guys. I don't, I don't get it. Yes, would it work? Maybe, probably. Okay, I get it. Did somebody, some special forces do carry it in the army, military, things like that? Yes, they do. I know they do, okay? I get it. But is it the best thing? No, it's not. There's a lot better things out there for you to control bleeding with than a tampon. And yes, there is a time for improvised medicine, okay? I understand. I've talked about videos about making tourniquets, things like that. In a bad situation, yes, I'm going to make a tourniquet because I'm not going to have enough commercial tourniquets out there. You know, I may have to use a belt. I may have to use a triangle bandage like I did with how to make a tourniquet video. Improvised medicine has its place, but improvised medicine will also get a lot of people killed, and that's what the people don't realize. They're gonna use duct tape, or they're gonna use all this stuff, and I get it. There's a time and a place for that, but improvised medicine will kill patients. So when you get done watching this video, go out to your trauma kit, take this out of your trauma kit, put it in your bug out bag for your wife in case she needs it if you have to bug out, but take it out of your trauma kit, put some compressed galls in there, put a roll of cling in there, but take this stupid thing out. So I hope this video helped. You never know when you'll be the first responder bringing the right gear and the right training. So with that being said, if you have not looked and thought about signing up for one of my trauma classes, you really need to do that. I've got two classes already scheduled for 2017. I'm gonna schedule some more out. Just need to get those two scheduled first. Uh, but there's people coming from Canada. Uh, there's a gentleman talking about coming to the UK. So don't let travel be discouraging because people are, are coming into this class. So people are already signing up for the classes. Um, so take a look at that. Try to fit in your schedule. So thank you guys for all the support.